Hi everyone, this is Claire and welcome to Two Can Talk, where birds of a feather flock together. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the UK um, and I, wherever you are around the world, I wish you well. I've just popped on really because I was kind of looking and checking out um, the commodities that are in the Ukraine and where they export those commodities to and they have a lot of natural resources in that country um, and some of them are actually exported to China um, but interestingly enough they provide the Ukraine I'm talking about far, provides Europe with almost 60% of its corn and almost half the grains to feed their livestock interestingly I mean, I could go on and read you a list of, you know, the salts, oils, graphite, sulfur, titanium, magnesium, timber, etc., etc., that that um, comes natural resources from the Ukraine. Um, but it's isn't that, you know, I just think that this has got to be a monetary uh, issue, like all war. It's it's got to be about money, or it's got to be about power. And I, as I've said before, I we really can't buy into the narrative of the main media. Um, because I don't feel they've all got an agenda, haven't they? You know, whether they're on that side or that side, whichever way they want to report this situation, they have an agenda. Personally, I feel that lives lost are any lives lost, you know, whether they're Ukrainian lives or Russian lives or, or any life. You know, um, we tend to, as humans, focus on all one on one thing and then blow that up. Um, rather like the COVID thing for two years, which has kind of just evaporated into the ether, like, I don't know, it's never happened. And then you hear bits and pieces coming back out into the media regarding, you know, like at the moment, um, all the newspapers are hitting it with, you know, oh, it's come from one of the wet markets in Wuhan and stuff like that. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm just keeping open minded um, um, as things filter into our consciousness about what is actually going on. However, back to the Russian Ukraine situation, I think all war is about control. So there's some reason why Ukraine is very much the focal point um, because the country is pulled either way. It's pulled towards Russia and it's pulled towards the EU. And as I say, it's quite rich in resources. So. Um, but looking at the sort of situation politically, and I'm not a politician at all. I mean, I'm only going by what I've read, what I've unearthed, what I've looked at going down the rabbit hole, is that the 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 sort of the agenda really um, for Russia is perhaps the fact that they want to um, gain more control and have Russia back to when it was the USSR and you know have more have more power in that sense on, on the eastern side of the world um because there's an agenda both sides there's an agenda with the west and there's an agenda with the east and it's all about control and you ukraine is kind of like the, the the knot in the middle of this tug of war rope as i see it and as i say i'm i'm no expert at all but i think it's got it's to do with some kind of socialism on both sides you know um and there's an agenda where I think that the more money that we are paying out in the Western world for, for oil and for gas and fuels generally, the poorer we're going to get because the prices are going to go absolutely up through the roof, which they are doing, which we're starting to see already. We don't know where that's going to take our fuel prices, how that's going to affect our, you know, freedom to drive and, and sort of our our liberty, as it were in our four wheels. So it's kind of like we haven't really seen the rippling effect of how this is going to play out in the field, have we? Um, but the poorer we get, surely the richer somebody else gets. Isn't that the way everything is? You know, the poorer we are, that money's got to be going somewhere, you know. Um, it kind of makes me feel like it's a bit to do with this new world order thing. Um, I'm not going to go into that because, to be honest, I have read through some of the World Economic Forum um, things that are on their website, which is plain for all to see. Uh, but I don't know where how this is going to play out. And I've, I feel personally that Ukraine is, is kind of in the middle of it all somehow. Um, anyway, I, I, I might be totally wrong. Um, I feel they want to strip us of our assets so that they can build in a digital bring in a digital banking system and uh, therefore then a digital ID system. Um, 
but this is only what I think, you know, maybe tell me what you think. I'd love to hear, as I say, I'm no expert on this. I'm just a woman looking into things because I'm interested, because I, I care, because I care about people. I care about Mother Gaia, our planet Earth. I care, okay? So that's why I'm kind of looking into it. But if anybody knows something, I you know, more that they want to add to this video or they agree with this take or they you don't agree with this take, please feel free to share it with me because as I say, I'm no guru on any of this. I'm just talking to people that, that want to listen. So anyway, um, it would be lovely to hear from you. I've only just started this channel. So if you want to sort of like and subscribe um, and comment, that would be absolutely fabulous just to sort of help me get my voice out there. But in the meantime, I'm sending you lots of love and have a beautiful day wherever you are. Um, I'm off now to feed my cats for their lunchtime food or they're starting to sort of sit around the kitchen as much to say, come on, you're a bit late with this. Um, but anyway, have a lovely, lovely day, night, evening, I don't know, um, wherever you are. And I will say ciao for now. Bye.